So in this video, we are going to be talking about a common misconception that kids have when they are learning to relate numbers to other numbers. Now, this is not the only misconception, but we're just highlighting one here, and we want you guys to share in the comments. Now, let me take a moment to describe the difference between a misconception and a mistake. Both often lead to a wrong answer. And so if we don't dig into how the students are thinking about it, we don't often know if it's a mistake or a misconception. So a mistake is often when a child misremembers something like a fact or a procedure. It happens usually when they're trying to follow a rule and a procedure, but they don't remember the exact steps or they see a fact. Like sometimes when I see four times three, I think seven just because I see four and three. And I think that makes a seven because I added instead of multiplying. That's a mistake. That is not something based in my understanding of mathematics. And that's when misconceptions happen. Misconceptions actually happen as a natural development of students' understanding. They, what they are doing in the moment makes sense to them. It is based on their mathematical understanding at the moment, not just because they misremembered a fact or they didn't do the steps properly. Okay, so that's the difference between mistakes and misconception. So a common thing that we see young kids struggling with is understanding that numbers are kind of nestled within each other. Technically, this is called hierarchical inclusion. Did I say that right? Probably not. I always mess it up. But here's an example of what this might look like. Let's say a kid comes into their classroom and they brought some cupcakes for their birthday. And in fact, they brought 25 cupcakes for the birthday, but there's 23 kids in the class. And when you ask them, do we have enough cupcakes? They don't know if they do because we've got 25. There's 23 kids. They don't understand that when you have 25, you have 24, you have 23, you have 22, right? It's all nestled within each other. So why is this an issue? Well, it's because Kids need to understand, it's a big idea, that hierarchical inclusion is basically what helps kids be able to decompose numbers later. And yes, kids get pretty comfortable decomposing like at place value, and they see 25 as 20 and 5, but they need to see it in all the different combinations. They need to understand that it's 24 and 1, 23 and 2, and so on, okay? So what can we do to help kiddos out? We typically tend to do a lot of just counting things, right? Uh, we will have the items out here and we'll ask them how many is here. And so they count them. Now, once they've counted it and they say that it's six, you can ask them questions like, okay, show me five. We want them to see that five is nestled within this group of six. However, when we count it like this and they're all out in a line, what we've seen kids do is that they will point to the fifth item. They'll point to this one and say, that's five, because that's the one they've tagged with the word five. They are not seeing it as the group of five. They should see all of that together, making from one to five makes five. That whole set is five, not just the one that they touched. So instead, well, not instead, because kids still need to count like this. But to help them understand this idea, have them as they're counting, then maybe put it into a bag, and in particular, a bag where they can't see in there. So they've counted out the items, they put them into the bag, and then they say, okay, there were six. And then you ask, now show me five. Well, they can't pick out the one that they tagged with five. They have to then show a group of five. And then when they pull out the five, they can also see that five's out there and one's left in the bag. There's so many re number relationships that they can develop by separating those sets and really seeing the sets within and not just tagging an item with a digit or in their mind, the number name. Okay, now it's your turn. Down in the comments, let us know about a common misconception that you see kids having when they're trying to relate numbers to other numbers. And this is like a whole gamut of ideas here. Relating numbers to other numbers includes a lot of stuff, but just are they seeing relationships? And, and when have you seen examples when they're not seeing how numbers relate to each other, okay? All right, let us know in the comments.